We have enough twin sunflowers for now, I think. How many do I have? Okay. Oh, that's another thing that I may not have pointed out. If in a survival stage, when you're picking your plants, you can click this to see what's on your lawn. Yeah, okay, since I have lots of sun being generated now. Oh, you know what, I might as well... I'll get rid of the Gatling P and... Keep these in case of emergency. Definitely keep spike rocks. Might do well. Yeah, I'm gonna keep putting more of these up. Since, like I said, certain plants are just going to keep getting more expensive. I love the, uh, war paint. <laughs> or, I guess, whatever you'd call that. I mean, the reason why you see that, especially on, like, baseball players, is because it stops light from reflecting off of your cheek, or off of... Not your cheek, off of the space below your eyes. Into your eyes. You paint it black and it, yeah, stops the reflection. Lots of newspapers being destroyed. Well, you know what? I may not even have needed the melon poles here because the spike rocks are gonna take care of that stuff. But you know, I might as well plant them because more damage is always better. Especially with massive numbers of zombies like this. Still wondering if I can fit in cattails anywhere. Not this round, but later. I guess when the balloon zombies come in, that will be a good choice. I think they're better than blovers for dealing with balloon zombies because a single cattail can get him from any lane, or get him in any lane. Okay, I'll spike rocks now, double spike rocks. Remember, keep an eye on how uh, horny your spike rocks are. See how much damage they've taken. Guess this isn't a bad way to make money. I mean, there are probably better ways, but... I know that in in Vase Breaker Endless and in iZombie Endless, there are certain points at which you will always get some, like a diamond. I don't know if there is something like that in Survival Endless, but I wouldn't be surprised. Should replace some of this stuff. Or it gets busted. See, this one has only two horns left. I haven't thrown anything too tough at me yet, but I have a feeling that's going to change. Alright, Balloon Zombie is the only really tricky one here. The Jack in the Box. Oh, they're called Jack in the Box. I've been keep calling them music box zombies. Hmm. Learn something new every day. Alright, I guess I will switch my plants a bit for this one. I'm playing a couple cattails.
What else did I want? Oh, magnet rooms. Uh, we'll, I'll skip the spike weed and spike rock because they are not going to get threatened this time. So that leaves me with one more space. What should I use? Hmm. An emergency plant, maybe? Oh, I know. I'll use Tangle Kelp. The stupid ones that show up at the end. Alright, I'm getting plenty of sun, so... Now, where will I put the magnets? Remember, chocolate equals money if you use it correctly. Because you can caffeinate Stinky and then he will collect lots of coins for you. Normally he'll just fall asleep very soon after you wake him up, but he'll stay awake for an hour if you give him chocolate. Now I'm going to plant two cattails and... Probably won't need that many magnet shrooms. So in Survival Endless, if you are if you have one of your crazy day plants and you're planning to remove one somewhere and plant one somewhere else, remove the plant first and then plant the new one. Because that way you'll get the lower cost. You know what, I may not need to use the magnet shrooms just Okay, that's a lot more balloon zombies than I was expecting. Well, as long as my cattails are reasonably intelligent here, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now, how are the tallnuts getting damaged when the pumpkins are still around? Maybe they told that tone that was already damaged and I just didn't notice it before. Well, they're bringing a lot of zombies. Ooh, nice. But I'm bringing a lot of plants, so... I guess I've been able to handle them so far. For me, it's always a difficult decision, like how many plants do you want that you already have up there? Like just to include in your lineup in case the zombies eat some of them. It suddenly gets very quiet. Alright, prepare to use Tangle Kelp this time in case someone gets where I don't want it to be. Him, whatever. Oh no, I'm you're not worth it. I didn't include torchwood. Alright, this is my previous record that I've equaled now. What the Giga Gargantuar? What the hell is that? I have never seen one of these things, but it can't be good. Uh, yeah. And I can't look it up and maybe it'll say something. I'm afraid. Mommy. <laughs> Okay, um, you know what? I'm gonna bring out the big guns this time. The biggest guns. No, 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 never mind. 
I'll save that for another time. That may be counterproductive. I will demonstrate the winter melon though, because I think that could be very handy. Okay, I'm going to dispense with the tall nuts and the pumpkins, because this guy will probably smash them. I'm really wondering what that guy does that's worse than a, a standard gargantua. Ah, uh, what the hell, I'll put the... And again, I get the feeling I'm forgetting something important. No, I'll use those two for emergency plants. Who well, knows, I'll probably need them. Alright, all this will help against the imps. I can't click or zoom. I can't select the imp to see what whether it's enhanced. Alright, here's something uh, in this game. I, I really thought I'd seen everything, but I guess I was wrong. Not gonna bother with umbrella leaves because these will just take care of this guy. Commence freezing. Okay, as you can see, this freezes zombies in multiple lanes at once. That's very useful. It does fire more slowly than a standard melon pulp, but in most cases, the freezing ability makes up for it. I'm going to place this. See, if I get through one more flag, I'll have a new personal best. I don't like what all these zombies and plants are doing to my computer speed. You know, at first when I watched some LPs when they were when there were where there was extensive slowdown in Jordan 77. I would get annoyed that the that the LP -er would continuously mention slowdown. Then I realized that it was probably a good thing that he did so. Because if you're seeing slowdown and the player says, oh, slowdown, or something about that, then you know it's on his or her end. Rather than on your end. Like, there's not something wrong with your computer. We're playing the video at not the normal rate. Crap, I did not mean to do that. Alright, am I gonna see one of these Giga Gargantuars? Or maybe not until later. I don't know! And those catapults are not going to be very effective. Those spike rocks have lasted me a while. Okay, I'm at a new personal record. Maybe I shouldn't dedicate so much of my attention to picking up sun. I'm at, like, almost half of the maximum allowed. 9975 is the most sun you can have at once. Oh, I need to replace that. See, they will get worn down eventually. What was that expl- Whoa! Okay, here's one. What's he gonna do? Maybe it's just like a normal one, except it has more hit points. Gatling on him! Thank you. Well, you see that spike rock is really slowing him down. Those spike rocks, I should say because it can't smash it in one hit. How many hit points does that thing have? Okay, now zero. Now 
No, don't dig it up. That would have been a bad idea. I do wonder what the difference is. I'm guessing it just has more hit points. Like between a standard Gargantuar and a Giga Gargantuar. Apparently my defenses against those imps are fairly effective. Okay. Alright, um, should I do another level? Yeah, I'll do one more. More gargantuars, this time of the regular and giga varieties. You know what, I really should use Squash to deal with the Imps. Now yeah, why not? Top Cannon's away. No, you know what, I don't have enough real estate for them. I keep wanting to use them and, and then realize that they are not going to be practical. Let's try this. I did not expect I would survive this long, so this is going to take up the whole session. Although that said, who knows, I may I may get killed on this one. Although if things get really out of hand, I won't hesitate to set off the bomb. The bomb being the Doom Shroom. In the iPhone version, there is a there is an achievement for amassing 8,000 sun in the stage. And keep in mind, they don't have survival. Um, they don't have survival on that version, so you can't just like do a survival thing and through five different parts of a survival stage collect 8,000 signs. You have to do it in one level. Of course you're going to want it to be a four flag level. And you'll want to have plant lots of twin sunflowers. Yeah, so if I get through this, I'm going to end the session and continue Survival Endless in the next session. Because I am fast approaching 40 minutes. Also getting a fair amount of money out of this. Again, that's because I've survived for so long. Okay, I need a spike rock here. All right, now they're going to bring on the big guys. At least I thought they were. I don't see any yet. Of course they're coming, though, because we saw them. I wonder if we'll see the type of zombie that we haven't seen yet. Or maybe that we've seen, but they have, I haven't defeated any of them yet. Could replace the spike weeds, but they're just going to get run over. So I'll wait until I can use spike rocks. <laughs> I love it when the snorkel zombies are jumping into the pool. And already have lost their heads. By the way, if you use winter melon, it's best to have 
I find it's best to have regular melon pulse there as well. Those Gatling peas are gonna get eaten by imps eventually, like now. Oh well, there's more melon pulse here. Although now that torchwood becomes useless. Whoa, okay, now they're really bringing it on here. No more Mr. Nice Guy. You need to get squashed. Oh, he's almost getting to my lawnmower. Okay, you see how big of an effect a large number of gargantuars and giga gargantuars can have. Now, I could plant the Doom Shroom, but I'm afraid that it would get squashed before I could set it off. Because remember, it's a daytime level, which means I'm going to have to set it off manually. I probably didn't need to use that. They're just wrecking everything. Oh, that wasn't the end. Yeah, I'm going to use a Doom Shroom here, because this is getting out of here. Now, where is the question? Because I don't think I'll be able to hit every lane. I think I'll target it more toward the bottom, since spike rocks are gone there. Oh, it did hit the ones in top, on top. Now, as you can see, using a Doom Shroom on a water lane does not stop there from being a crater, or its equivalent. Okay, now I got him. And I managed not to lose a lawnmower or a pool cleaner. Alright, I'm at 42 minutes. I really need to stop now. I guess I'll continue this next time. Thinker2112, over and out. Bye.